again. This is Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking, and this is going to be Layout 2 from the Honey Bunny Alternative Layouts. Um, so I'm starting off with the uh, Honey Butter, and I'm going to use, it says to use the light side, I'm going to use the dark side. Um, just because there isn't a whole lot, is only like a quarter of an inch showing here and there, and so I'll just show a little bit more color. So these are the triangles from my triangle video, um, how to cut triangles for the um, honey bunny layout. And uh, so I am using this, the pink one, and it is getting covered, going right up so that it's a quarter of an inch from the bottom and from the side. So it's a quarter of an inch up, and a quarter of an inch over. So see, there's not a whole lot of the honey butter color showing from the cardstock. So this is the piece that actually was supposed to be folded, but thank goodness I did it wrong and cut it because it really needed to cover a little bit of that pink. And so you get kind of an angled, kind of a lapel look with this. And then you've got the two um, background, picture backgrounds for four by six pictures, so they're four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So they're going to go, first one is going to go down in the corner, so it's about five eighths of an inch by up from the bottom and five eighths of an inch over from the right hand side. So that's a little over a half an inch and a little under three-fourths of an inch. So it's right in between. And then this one is just going to get tucked underneath and I'm making it parallel to the line of the blue butter butterflies. So just with a little bit of a tilt. And I am gonna go ahead and put, I'm trying to figure out which one goes there. It's, I think it's the pink one or maybe the green one. Could be the green one, whichever one you want to put there to put your date on it. And then I'm adding another little phrase from the down at the bottom there. And then there's this sticker that's kind of like a big button with a flower on it. And I am going to give it a yellow center, one of the yellow dots. And it's that's just perfect for that. And so I'm thinking, I'm thinking wrong here. So um, I'm putting this here, but it really needs to be the, the Easter title needs to go there. So I'm putting all this stuff down and oi, oi, oi. You're suffering through the pain with me. Um, anyway, what I need to do is to take the Easter title and stamp it and then color it. Um, and I'm just finding these pieces to, to go with. And it, it's not exactly the same as what the instructions gave us. It's close, but not the same. So anyway, then I go and pull that all up. Because it wouldn't be me if I wasn't putting something down and pulling something up. Here we go. All the little pieces come up. Fortunately, that one came up without ripping. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, pull a big title of Easter off. And it's got, it's nice, it's a kind of a cool font, but it's got all these flower flowers on it. So I am going to stamp it in my favorite black, which is intense black, and give it a little test. So not exactly, I need to season it a little bit more. I should, should have rubbed it harder on my skin, I guess. But anyway, it's a big stamp. So I'm going to, this is another good way of seasoning. You just stamp until you get a nice solid stamp from it. Okay, so I'm going to ink it up good. You know what I love about the clear blocks is that you can actually see that you've got enough ink on your stamp. Because you can sure see when you um, miss a little bit. So that's, that's a good thing of clear stamps and clear blocks. Okay, so there's my title. And I'm going to use sage and peach, which are the colors that go with. 
And then I go on for a look for my water brush and I found it, but it took me a while to find it. I didn't put it where I didn't put it back where it belonged, and so then I couldn't find it. We all know about that. We tell our kids and our husbands, if you just put things back where you got them, where they belong, you'd be able to find them all the time, right? So here we go painting, and this is so easy. Good grief. You know, you just squeeze the top of the stamp pad onto the pad itself, and um, then you get a, enough bit of paint, uh, ink in the top to pull out and use um, for, you know, whatever kind of brush you want to use. And so I'm using um, the peach and I'm coloring it. And then I think, no, I don't want to use this. I want to pull out my peach shimmer brush. And this gives shimmer, not just color, but shimmer to it. So it's all shiny and sparkly and real pretty. And so there we go. And they stick out very nicely. So it's a nice little title in that if you can see a little bit of shine to it. And, you know, I think that the uh, shimmer brushes are running out, and I don't think they're going to be, they haven't, uh, I think they're retired, so they're not going to put in any more orders for them, unfortunately. They're like the best things ever. I hope you got some, because they are really, really cool. So now I'm going to put the little jotting um, spot up there. So this is a good place to put your date and place. Um, you can't tell a long story, but we'll save that for the other, the other side, the right-hand page. Okay, so here comes the right-hand page. So this is the rest of the triangles. So we're going to put three triangles on here. That's where we're going to put our, our epistle on what the, these pictures are all about. So we're going to make our own little jogging not jogging. We're not. I'm not going jogging, girl. I'm too old for that. Uh, jotting. We're gonna jot. I can do that. So um, I've got these. The uh, pink pieces. The peach pieces are like two by eleven and a half. And so those are gonna go on top. And this gets. I'm gonna have to make my own lines. Um, I could go searching for. The lines, um, I have several stamps that have lines on them, but I'd have to go searching for them. And I am not going to do that right now. So I'm going to put some eggs. I decided that I needed, what I needed to do was to, before I put the lines on, to go ahead and put all the little decorations in place so um, I could figure out where the lines go. So we have a single egg. And then a threesome, and then I'm going to squeeze another single. Didn't do a good job of centering that threesome, but that's okay. There's a little, put those back, clean them off and put them back. And there's a little bitty grass that I'm going to put in front of that one egg, just because. Because I didn't like the way I didn't center it, that's why. So, and we've got a little bitty single flower that I'm going to put on later on. And <clears throat> I wanted to put this little pink title, little peach title. I don't know why I keep on saying pink when it's peach. Okay, so I'm pulling out my peach, and I'm giving kind of a, a uh, blush to the, to the white cardstock, just because, you know, that's kind of boring. And so you want to make sure that you... Um, blot off on some scratch paper before you get a big blob of ink where you don't want it. And so you just get a little blush, and you can just add as much color as you want. You can't take away, but you sure can add. And so I am going to go down one of those lines. I'm going to go down three of those lines, and each of those lines, I think, is like an eighth of an inch. And so I'm going to go trying to keep everything parallel, because otherwise I could just write it on a slant, because that's how I write. So I'm trying to keep everything real parallel. Um, and I'm leaving an eighth of an inch over on each side and three-eighths inch down. So that's three lines down. So I'm just kind of lining them up with all the edges to kind of keep them straight. 
and this is going to be kind of lengthy, but it's, you know, I mean, it's not wide. So um, I have to talk about these pictures are going to be when Philip was three years old. Um, we had some really cute pictures of him looking for hunting for Easter eggs out at the airport. Um, so we have this hangar out in Mount Vernon, which is 100 miles east of us from Plano. And um, Philip always loved going to, he still loves going to the hangar and he's 28. But it's a place of, you know, a baby would say freedom. Okay, so this is a brand new honey butter uh, shimmer brush. So that yellow ring needs to come out and then you screw the um, top back in and then you have to squeeze. There's a place on the side that says push, push, push. And then the ink starts coming out and then you can go after it. So there you go. So I'm making some peach colored eggs and some yellow, some honey butter eggs. So I've decided to make those glittery too because they're Easter eggs. They needed to be pretty. So now I'm going to make a little kind of a mint green, which is kind of a bluish green. So it really goes nicely with the glacier blue with, that the butterflies are flying on. So here's our little place to do our journaling. And then we're going to put our little flower right there. And I will color the little flower also. Just a cute little flower, isn't that cute? Of course you have to make the leaves green too and the grass. And I'm putting a little green on where all the little tufts of grass are. So there we go. And then this little piece, this is, um, what is it? I will look it up. It's like six inches, two and a fourth by seven is what it is. And the white piece is, I will tell you, it is two by six and three fourths. So both of the peach pieces are the same. They're uh, two inches by uh, 11 and a half. And I've, somehow I think I went wild with my, top, my uh, runner. And uh, so I need to take the runner off because this is, it's on this side that's going to be showing. And I love that thing, whatever it's called. But it's a great way of getting rid of ink I mean, not ink, but wouldn't it be great if it was ink, too? Um, but the glue that is in the place it's not supposed to be, and it really, they make it real easy using this thing. And then you just pull the little, you know, some people would call those glue boogers, but I wouldn't do that. So anyway, okay, so this is going to go a quarter of an inch over, a quarter of an inch up. And then these are going to go a quarter of an inch down and a quarter of an inch over. And I want to make sure that that pointy tip is well glued so it doesn't curl up. So I'm kind of eyeballing it, but it's a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch. And then this guy is going to go like that. Once again, got to make sure that the tip is well covered. Okay, and then a quarter of an inch up and a quarter of an inch over. And then that's my favorite. I love that plaid. I just love it. So there we go with the plaid. And once again, quarter of an inch, eyeball a quarter of an inch all around or close. It gets a lot of it gets covered, so it's not that big of a deal. I was a little, it's a little off, but I'm a little off too. Okay, and the, the uh, that's going to be for two three by fours and one four by four and one four by six. And um, those are going over. 
a half an inch. So the two three by fours are a half an inch over from the left. And the four by four is five eighths of an inch down from the top, from the top of the um, honey butter, and a, about a quarter of an inch over. I may have given it a little bit more than that. And then that goes about a quarter of an inch down. And that the um, our journaling is like one and an eighth inch up and one and three-fourths inch over, and you put it on a slant. So it's making for a really cute page, isn't it? And you've made your own journaling place, so that's real easy to do. Now this one goes up there, but it's a little long, so I am going to cut it so it's even. Get that little piece out of the way. And so I'll put something up there, probably the year. And then I'm just going to put some little dots in place. And I'm going to use the three sizes and all three different colors. Well, three different colors. I didn't use all the colors. But um, so I use the honey butter, sage, and glacier. So I love those little dots, just little enamel dots. So cute. So now that's, I mean, that was pretty simple, right? So here's the page, the layout, rather. So not, not terribly complicated, but the triangles add enough um, kind of interesting um, shapes that you don't see all the time. So uh, that, that's kind of that's cool. And here I am, I've picked out some pictures and I've cropped them down. So I am putting, this is Philip when he was, I don't even think he was quite three yet. And we're out at the hangar when the apartment that Jim and I built. And uh, I'm putting down up on the little box up there that this was April 1998. And we're in Mount Vernon airport in Franklin County, Mount Vernon, and uh, we've got, he's, he got his Easter basket with all of his little Easter toys and a pair of sunglasses, and I cut these up so I didn't have a really great um, four by six, so I decided to cut the pictures up in funny little um, ways, and I'm going to put some stickers in those little empty spots. So I need to I needed to crop those down. I hadn't cropped those down yet. So this is outside the hangar. So we put some eggs around for Philip to go have an egg have an, his own egg hunt. He had <laughs> he had bunny ears on for a short while. Um there's you can see the planes in the back sitting on the static area. And uh but the ears ended up down his back. And now he's showing off all the eggs that he found. So I'll have a whole lot of journaling to, to do over there to explain, you know, how much he loved going to the airport or loves going to the airport. So I just had this little piece of the zip strip left over, so I decided to, to use it just because it was so pretty. But I've got more stickers to put on. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Hi, I just wanted to show you some of the stickers that I added below and next to Philip on those two places, along with some little more, some more dots. So love those dots. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Bye now. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.